with another video <laughs> for me to you guys yeah i hope everyone is doing well today uh, today is a lovely day is uh, actually a holiday in um new york in my country and uh, i hope we're all having a very nice day at home with our family and loved ones yeah. so today we're going to have a, a very we're going to be having a very interesting topic um today i uh, just wanted to share my own thoughts on um, what i think about this um, surgery that uh, nikki just did yeah guys Thank you guys for stopping by. Please, before you go, don't forget to click on the red sign and also the bell notification so you get notified whenever I make a new video. And also to my own subscriber, you guys are highly, highly, highly appreciated. Thank you once more for always being there for me. Yeah. So, before I go back into this video, I would like to um, um, give indulgence to who Nikki, Nikki, Nikki is Nikki Peckins. She used um she used to have a YouTube channel with her husband, her ex-husband. It used to be Nikki and Jamie. Most of you on YouTube street know Nikki and uh, Nikki and Jamie. Yeah, she's a Sudanese that was married to um she's Sudanese that was married to a British guy. Um they had a YouTube channel together and um she's a, she's a model and they live in Australia. But for now they're they're separated. They separated some few months ago and it was you know, news on uh, social media. So now, Nikki Perkins actually got her boobs done of recent, and this has been causing a whole lot of um, of um, bads on um, on um, YouTube and also on um, Instagram. Yeah. Um, a lot of people, a lot of fans, a lot of subscribers, a lot of viewers are bashing her that um, she went to do a breast enlargement. Yeah. So that's um, that's the problem. So for me, I just want to give my own reaction about. Um, about it. Yeah, for me, I believe um, people should be allowed to do what pleases them. Nikki is not a kid. She's an adult. Once you are 18, you are considered to be an adult to think for yourself. So Nikki, to have gone under the knife, it's a decision. Nobody has to decide that for her. So if she chooses to go under the knife to make um, the voice of life, then to make herself um, look beautiful, you know, I don't see how it hurts the next party, let alone the whole world. Do you understand? It's a choice, it's her money, it's her body. She can choose to do whatever she likes with it, just like I mentioned. You know. So um for for for, for her to have done this, she probably would have looked at herself and said, Okay, this is what I want to do. Let's not forget that Nikki has two beautiful kids. So she could not um, she could have done this because she wasn't feeling comfortable. Of course, obviously, she wasn't feeling comfortable with her books. That was why she decided to go under the knife. So, um, I think it's nobody's business what she has, um, what she has done to herself, what she decided to do to herself by enhancing her books. You know, we should talk about our own problems and um, not always coming out to to just go under the um, computer uh, keyboard and start um, bashing people. If we don't have anything nice to say to people, sometimes I believe we should just. Um, Say nothing at all than to say words that could bring someone's um, feelings down. You know, sometimes on, you know, on social media, some words and comments that we leave on people's pages, sometimes I go like, wow, how could someone, you know, naturally just come up and, you know, say this to another person that you don't even know personally? So sometimes I, I just want to preach love, I just want to say that we should show love, we should try to um, give love, show love always to people. Because sometimes our words could uh, make some people go commit suicide. You know, our words could lead people into could lead people into depression also. So it's not easy. You know, when you when you come up and you and you start, you know, um, saying all those kind of um, um, writing those kind of comments on people's wall. You know, people should be allowed to live the way they want to live, provided it's not hurting the next part. That is what I believe. I could remember the 
case of partition white, it was the same bashing and name calling and people just went on and on and on and on and on and on, insulting the girl, bashing her, you know, saying she she preaches and she goes against what she preaches and all that and all that. And sometimes I just keep wondering, is it I just kept wondering to myself, is it because these girls are so successful black girls? Is that why all this bashing is coming into you know is coming to play? Because I see no reason why people will just come out and start bashing them. The Kardashians, they do these surgeries every day. They are one big example. They go under the knife every day. Every part of them is almost surgery. So if these um, successful black girls just come out and decide to do one part of their body that they feel is not comfortable, they are not comfortable with I see no reason why. It's not a big problem to me. For me, this is my own reaction to it. I see no reason why people should come out and start bashing them. They're not going, going under the knife every day. There are some people that go under the knife every blessed day. Those are the kind of ones that, okay, I would really go against that, you know, because these things, they still do have side effects. These surgeries, they still do have side effects. Do you understand? Those are the ones that I wouldn't really advise for people to do, you know, doing every part of your body. That's the one that I wouldn't, you know, advise people to do. Do you understand? But you can tell that that's what to do, especially when you have the cash. Like for me, in future, <laughs> when I must have saved enough money, I would also love to do my groups. I know a lot of people say, yeah, that's why you're in support of what they're doing. But no, do what makes you happy. Do what you love to do. As long as you're not hurting the next person. Do you understand? So um, that's all I wanted to say about this Nikki's case. We are all adults. We know what we want to do. You know what we want in our lives. We know what we want that make us more beautiful to enhance our beauty. Okay, so why are people using makeup? We use makeup to enhance our beauty. Is there a problem in that? If you see no problem in that, so why are you seeing problem in people just doing you know one or two parts of their body? It's a money. It's a life. It's a body. You know, guys. So um, let's just learn how to show love. How to show love all the time. That's you know. That's what I would I would, uh, I would like to say. You know. Let's know how to. Um, let's caution ourselves. Let's know how to um, say the right things. Even at the wrong time, we have to say the right things at the wrong time. Do you understand? So, guys. Um. Yeah. Um. If you would like to leave your thoughts and your comments at the comment section, I would really appreciate it because I'm going to get back to you guys also. Um, yeah, so for now, I'm just going to say um, I'll see you all in my next video. Don't forget to drop your comment and your likes, like I said. So, I'm going to see you guys on my next video. So, for now, it's um, goodbye, have a lovely day, and uh, God bless you all. Bye from Safari to you all. Bye, work.